So hi there everybody and welcome to the Vue Store YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to have a look at the Kinfinity Mavo Edge 8K and the 6K camera. So in front of me I have the 8K camera but when it comes to the physics the 8K and the 6K camera are very similar. There are so many things that we do love about these true cinema cameras. They are full frame and support a large format sensor. They also support the wonderful colors that we are accustomed to from Kinefinity. One of the biggest differences between the 8K and the 6K camera is going to of course be the resolution on the two cameras. Now the 8K does shoot 8K up to 70 frames per second and the 6K shoots 6K up to 75 frames per second. One difference between the sensors on the two cameras is going to be the native ISOs. On the 6K you have a native ISO of 800 and 5120, whereas on the 8K you will have the native ISO standing at 640 ISO and 2560. Both of these two cameras have a dynamic range of more than 14 stops which is a great feature and that we love from Kinefinity cameras for a long time. Another thing that we also love with the Kinefinity line of cameras is that you can actually change how the roll off is going to be on the highlights. You can change how many dynamic range stops you will have in the highlights so that's this great feature if you're out shooting outside during the day. As of right now you can only shoot with Apple ProRes on these cameras but you will be able to shoot in Apple ProRes 4444XQ which in many terms is basically like shooting uncompressed RAW. But also hopefully in a firmware update very soon they will also unleash uncompressed RAW with these cameras. Now there are a lot of things to love with these two cameras that we have, the 6K and the 8K. Number one is going to be that now on these two cameras you actually have two XLR inputs with phantom power directly on the body and not like on the old cameras where you had to buy the Kineback with the XLRs to get proper audio in. Another feature that the Kinefinity Edge cameras, the 6K and the 8K also has, is that they support the third generation of Kine mounts. And me personally, I believe that this is probably the best mount ever made. You both have the bayonet style mount that the EF mount gives you. You will also have the ability to use the locking system as you have on PL mounts. So this is bringing out a mount where you use the best of both worlds, both the ease of use but also security and here you can see I do have the DZO film Keta Ace on it and it doesn't wobble a millimeter on the mount even though I don't have a lens support on. Now when it comes to ND filters the Kinefinity Mavo Edge cameras do have the END filters which are great. You go from either having a clear uh, filter or you go to having the END filters which will vary from 2 to 7 stops in 1 tenth of increments. Another home run with the Kinefinity Edge cameras is going to be the storing media and this is the Kin Kinemax. And what I really love about the Kinemax is that you also have a USB-C on them so you don't have to have a reader. You can just take a USB-C cable and put it in straight into your computer so you can transfer the files. You can also make your own Kinemax uh, by buying your own NVMe SSDs and putting them in cartridges that Kinefinity makes. All professional cameras you now have also have redundancy on these so you can have two uh, Kinemags in at the same time and this is wonderful if you really want to feel secure while shooting on these cameras. A thing that also is very nice to have as we do have here on the Kinefinity Mavo Edge cameras is that we have the ability to both use V-mount but also BPU style batteries uh, so you can choose by yourself which type of batteries you want to shoot with. As before we know that Kinefinity does work with Movecam when it comes to the accessories. They made a base plate which is truly nice where you can actually have NP style batteries uh, inside so if you want to hot swap your V mount batteries but you still want to keep recording you will be able to do that with this base plate. A few other accessories that you can find for the two edge cameras is going to be of course the Kine monitor and the EVF. Both of these are really high quality and you will have no problem monitoring what you're shooting. When it comes to the Kinemon, it's now touch which is so nice and Kinefinity have really worked on the user interface which now is really nice and where you have basically all your features on the really right places so you can change it very fast. 
Now in a firmware update, you will also be able to use this as a streaming camera straight out on the internet, both via using Wi-Fi 5 or the included uh, ethernet gigabit connection that this camera has. After shooting a few weeks with the 8K camera, I'm truly happy with the changes that Kinefinity have done to the edge cameras if you're comparing them to the older cameras. But one thing that they haven't changed is the color science and I'm so happy about that because I really loved using Kinefinity cameras and the results that they give. So guys, if you have any questions for us at Booster, don't forget to leave them in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Until the next time, see you soon and bye bye.